please start sir okay Uh, good afternoon, all of you. I am Dr. Namde Harade, Assistant Professor, SGM College, Karat. I am here to present the uh, resume of Dr. Nilesh Pawar, sir. Nilesh Pawar, sir, completed his B.Sc. from Y.C. Institute of Science, Satara, M.Sc. and Ph.D. from Department of Botany, Shivaj University, Kolhapur. He qualified GATE exam conducted by IIT Madras with 96.64% score and stood 18% rank in all, all India rank. He worked as a junior research fellow on DBT project at Delhi University, Delhi. He has been awarded with senior research fellowship by CSR New Delhi. As far as his research is concerned, Dr. Nilesh Power contributed a lot of, in research field. Also, uh, he published 24 research papers with average impact factor 3.24, H index 11, and more than 400 citations. Sir published eight books so far and recently filed one patent. Sir attended more than 50 national and international conferences. He has organized one international conference, two international Twitter conferences, and nine national workshops as well as webinars. He is a member of Board of Studies at Vivekanand College, Kolhapur, and recognized as a research guide in botany and biotechnology by Shivaji University, Kolhapur. He completed two research projects project of uh, RS uh, 10 lakh rupees. Till date, he has delivered more than 50 guest lectures on different topics. Presently, he is working on IQSC coordinator at the new college, Kolhapur, and do his recommendable job as a coordinator, college received A plus grade in NAC accreditation. So with this brief introduction, I uh, welcome Dr. Nilesh Power, sir, and here with I request you to start the presentation. Dr. Nilesh Paur, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks for your kind words. Okay, uh, welcome, now, sir. I will start my presentation. Uh, good afternoon, all of you. First of all, I am very much thankful to the organizers, uh, SGM College, Karad authorities and SPPU Pune, HRDC authorities, for inviting me to deliver talk on different research areas in science. So, I will deal with the research areas uh, particularly related with the science, uh, present ongoing research and also in future what will be the focused research areas in this century that will uh, that I will discuss here. So without taking much time, I am now sharing my presentation. I think it's visible now. Is yes, it visible sir. to all of you? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. So, research areas in science. So, my talk will be on uh, start with the definition of science. Actually, we don't have the definition of science in our curriculum. So, I will start with the definition. Then, what exactly research mean? Already, I think two to three resource person given brief introduction of research, different types of research and the research process. And later on, I will discuss about the different research areas. The data, uh, whatever I am going to present, is collected from the Scopus database and Simago database that I would like to share here. So starting with the definition, because organizers told me that you should focus your presentation on different research areas in science. That's why I prepared the presentation related to science. So science is the knowledge gained from the uh, from using observations and experiments. So these two keywords are very important to define the science or to get the definition of the science that are observations and experiments. With the help of these, we have to explore the nature or world or whatever the enigmatic things which are present in the nature that we are going to explore by observations and experiments. That's what exactly science means. So as a faculty of science, 
either that may be natural science formal science or social science we have to bring the this definition uh, or describe the definition in detail to the students so they can easily understand what exactly science means then research research according to tuckman he told that research is a systematic means of problem solving so our focus of this faculty development program is totally on research and data analysis and already some resource person described the definition of the research so research is systematic means of problem solving it has five different characteristics systematic logical empirical reductive and replicable so research it should be always a systematic the process of research it should be organized and systematic and it should be logical either you have to go from individual to generalization or generalization to individual and any research either it may be from biological sciences or physical sciences it is always evidence based if it uh, if it is not based on evidences then there is no value for that particular research and your research after experimental uh, experimentation observation and interpretation it should be in the generalized form and last your research whatever you have done it should be replicable or reproducible means methodology of that these are five different characteristics of research so uh, there are two types of researches basic and applied all of we are related to basic sciences so we are involved in the basic research which is generally theoretical and laboratory based it generally lacks the external validity and only focus on theory or we can say mechanism while the applied research it gives immediate results compared to basic research and uh, it it is field based and another thing is externally valid and focus on effect so we can compare the research types basic research and applied research by considering these points and already i think one resource person has given description about these slides how the research going on so research starts with the definition of problem or first the problem of research is divine we can say it origin of problem and after that related to your problem you have to search the literature previous literature or findings and on the basis of that after the revision of the research problem then you have to formulate the hypothesis and hypothesis is nothing but the just expectation of results after they are conducting the different types of experiment and on the basis of your specialization you have to design the problem or design the experiment then collect the data and at the end you have to analyze the one minute you have to analyze the data and test the hypothesis and last stage of the research is interpretation and then generalization so this way the research is going on in all over the world in different branches of sciences i will put here one example which is collaborative research approach or we can say this research in, is done in team work interdisciplinary research also you can uh, consider it as one important thing is observations are very important in research fields so one single observation makes this research a um, milestone in worldwide so this is example of the discovery of penicillin by alexander fleming you know the alexander fleming he discovered the penicillin in 1928 basically this disorganized lab makes him genius the alexander fleming he is not systematic man to uh, related to research he always uh, prepare or he is quite lazy so his lab is always disorganized in 1928 what happens he was on vacation two week vacation before that he cultured staphylococci bacteria in his lab he is man of microbiology he was man of microbiology so he was working on the bacteria and he placed that cultures in lab without incubator and when he 
came back after completing the vacation, what he noticed? There are some contamination in the Staphylococci bacteria plates. So immediately he started to clean that plates. At the same time, one of his colleague or one former member of his lab visited his lab that day and uh, Fleming took some of the contaminated cultures to show his colleague. And that moment only he noticed the inhibition zone around the fungus. So this observation, uh, I think Fleming makes him genius. So what he noticed, the inhibition zone around the fungus. So where fungus grown in the plate, around this fungus region, there is no growth of the bacteria. And Fleming was not very knowledgeable about the funga, fungi, but knew that the mold in this dish was a species of penicillin. The fungus which is grown in the bacterial plate, it is nothing but the penicillium and it won't allow to grow any bacteria. So eventually, he determined that fungus is penicillium notatum and there is something new or something uh, unique in the penicillium which doesn't allow to grow the bacteria. And after that, in 1929, Fleming published a, one paper of the discovery of the penicillium. But he has the background of microbiology only. So he has also some restriction or limitation to his research. So there are around 12 years span to isolate the penicillin in pure form. Because in 1928-29, he discovered the penicillin from the penicillin. But in pure form of penicillin, it requires more than 10 years because the limitations are restricted knowledge of Fleming in the field of chemistry. So in uh, around 1940, one of the students of Fleming uh, invited the two research scientists from Oxford University, Arms Chain and Florid, who has some biochemistry or chemistry background. Once they join with the Fleming's lab, immediately they describe the structure of penicillin. Initially, they thought it should be enzyme, but after Chain, who discovered the structure of the penicillin, he noticed that penicillin was not an enzyme, but it is a molecule which is very unstable molecule. So it was very difficult to isolate this penicillin from penicillin. But due to their chemistry background and some instrumental knowledge, they isolated the penicillin in pure form in 1940. Immediately, they have taken animal trials. Simon, after that, human testing. And in 1941, uh, with the help of British government, they developed uh, the number of doses of this penicillin. So this is the one of the best example of interdisciplinary research, or we can say collaborative research from different backgrounds of the sciences. And this is, I think, now essential. Uh, this is, I think, essential in this century also. We have to come together from different backgrounds and work together for the better research so that our India should be progress in the research in near future. Uh, in 1945, they have awarded the Nobel Prize for their discovery or the contribution in the field of science. After that, uh, we will come towards the different research areas in science. Before that, I would like to present or I would like to share one slide, which is total research scenario in terms of number of paper published by different countries, or we can say rankings of different countries in terms of paper published, then citations, self citations, and H index. If you see this slide, it was uh, the or this data was collected from the Scopus or Simogo, and India stands seventh in all over world as a in terms of number of publications. So around two lakhs or more than two lakhs research papers published by Indian scientists in different areas of science research. And uh, if you compare with other countries, we are somewhat lagging behind in number of citations per document and also in H index. Even though we have a uh, total number of shares according to Statista, 
we have around 5.30 percent share in all over world research. India is most populous country, so we have large scope in future to increase our share. And definitely, after 10 years, the Indian share will be large as compared to other countries. So, since onwards, I will focus uh, different research areas of the sciences. Before that, there are, uh, I think, more than 200 different research institutes in India. This database collected from the DST website and uh, majority of them related to agricultural sciences or biological sciences. Here, only research institutes are considered, not universities and the colleges. After that, uh, we should focus on different research areas or branches of science. Broadly, branches of science are divided in four different types, natural sciences, formal sciences, social sciences, and applied sciences. So our today's presentation will be focused on natural sciences, which includes physical sciences and life sciences. While in formal sciences, these are logical sciences or mathematical sciences. Social sciences, I think already Professor Zubay sir told about this, and applied sciences is technology-based sciences. So first I will start with the physics. So in physics, also different areas of research are there, starting from acoustic and ultrasonic to surfaces and interfaces. Among these areas, astronomy and astrophysics, and another one, atomic and molecular physics and optics. These are leading research areas. But maximum share in physics is by condensed matter physics. All these are publications published uh, till 2020 on Scopus from the physics background. And India, if you consider the India, India is leading country in the publication of physics, or we are dominating in physics. In our Shivaji University also, physics department is a quite dominant department in the publications. After that, chemistry. Chemistry has also around 273 thousand publications on Scopus. Compared to physics, chemistry publications has much more citations because of average citations. And in chemistry also, there are different areas which are analytical chemistry, electrochemistry, inorganic, organic, physical, and spectroscopy. Among these, organic chemistry is leading chemistry or area or scientists working in organic chemistry, the number of publication and scientists working is quite high compared to other branches of chemistry. And there are so many research institutes in India which are working in physics and chemistry. Almost all IITs, all ICERs, and the institutes like our institutes which comes under Council of Scientific Industrial Research, even universities also working good in the field of physics and chemistry. And some colleges, they are also doing well because the, uh, since last seven to 10 years, so many postdoc fellows joined at college level and they are also doing very well in physics and chemistry. So the number of publications in the field of physics and chemistry is quite high on Scopus when we consider the India. Then material science is also discipline of natural sciences or we can say physical sciences. Among these, electronic, optical and magnetic materials. This, this is leading field or leading research area when we consider the material science branch. And in material science, our uh, Shiva University, I think it's top 10 in all over India. So you can observe here the number of publication in material science stream. It's around 3 lakhs publication up to 2020. Citations are also good and even H index is also significant or we can say notable. After that, another interdisciplinary branch of science is earth and planetary science, which is quite allied with the physical sciences. But on Scopus, this stream has a given separate weightage as earth and planetary science. Here also geochemistry is there, geophysics is there. Uh, if you consider space and planetary science, which leads or which is leading in publication under the earth and planetary science stream. 
then we move towards the biological sciences which is very important uh, discipline of the natural sciences agriculture and biological sciences in that agronomy of crop science is there then botany and zoology this traditional branches or traditional sciences are also here as animal science and zoology and here you can say the plant science yeah plant science is again leading when we consider the agricultural and biological science on scopers and after that agronomy and crop sciences but the citations compared to physics and chemistry are very less for the agricultural and biological sciences even h index is also quite uh, decreasing compared to physics and science so number of people working in this field is quite high even though publication number is quite less and even citations also per document average citations are also quite uh, uh, we can say less or horrible then environmental science which is interdisciplinary branch of the physical science and life sciences here ecology has a separate branch environmental chemistry which is again leading branch and most important problem before the world is climate change and waste water or waste management and disposal this comes under this environmental sciences and here also india doing well if you see the number of publications even conservation of nature and pollution all these points or branches of science are uh, concerns with our day to day life so these are quite important and in future definitely the number of publications in this field will be quite high even the citations is also very good or h index in case of environmental science one of the most important aspect or subject of the life science is immunology and microbiology if you see the total number of publication is less but the citations per document is very high in the immunology and microbiology field considering all the documents or paper h index and citations is quite high because the impact factors uh, for the journals which comes under the immunology and microbiology they have high impact factors more than 10 or you can say five impact factor journals are there and so the <coughs> citations and h index is also high the research institutes working in life sciences if you see uh, at national level indian council of agriculture research then some institutes comes under the csr laboratories like uh, niv then nio so many institutes are there almost more than uh, 130 different research institutes are there which are related to life sciences or we can say this biosciences then another field is biochemistry genetics and molecular biology which is quite advanced field or applied field in the life sciences there is again biochemistry biophysics and biotechnology one of the most important subject in the life science or applied sciences that is biotechnology which comes under this category again cell biology clinical biochemistry then developmental biology just now started at different iits and even in icer also this molecular biology developmental biology and structural biology because the fields like genomics and proteomics this comes under these categories so at pre in present situation the publication uh, in this category around 2 lakhs 29000 but definitely in uh, present century the publications in this field will be increased and uh, citations per document is also quite good compared to other life sciences subjects or area of specialization h index is also good so these are quite important research areas in near future because almost all these are applied subjects in the life sciences so uh, this century or we can say in a future decades two or three decades will be of this genetics and molecular biology or we can say biotechnology then another important field which is related to our day to day life in india is a, has a big pharma sectors uh, we are largest producers of vaccines and uh, drugs 
we can say so here also lot of scope to improve uh, number of publication in this uh, field like drug discovery and pharmaceutical sciences we have good number of publication right now but there is scope to increase the number of publication in this field which is pharmacology toxicology and pharmaceutics then uh, in formal sciences here we can see the mathematics and computer sciences here also and they are doing well if you see the number of publications but if you observe the citation citation it's only seven around as uh, about seven citation per publication because the uh, i think it's because of the journals impact factor and the number of people working in this field so the citations are quite low due to number of people working in this fields and general impact factor so there are also different areas which comes under mathematics algebra and number of number theory analysis applied mathematics then computational mathematics and the field like modeling and simulation and statistic and probability which are quite uh, leading field under the category of mathematics so here also lot of scope to work because without this though these are uh, comes under formal sciences even though as we are botanist we need statistics without doing statistics in our research we never publish research papers in good and bad factors so we have to go in hand with hand in hand we are not restricted only up to as a physical uh, sorry a botanist we have to go with statistics and mathematics even in the field like ecology from life sciences they knew some uh, simulations modeling and simulations so these fields are also very important as a collaborative research approach another important uh, formal science branch is computer science here artificial intelligence which is moving very fast in last uh, two decades and maybe next two or three decades will be of artificial intelligence because the subject like plant sciences there is also some work is going on related to artificial intelligence by using machine learning or by using any program we can easily identify certain plants or butterflies or diseases this is part of artificial intelligence and the field like chemistry physics they are doing well in the artificial intelligence and i already told you that next two or three decades will be of artificial intelligence and in computer india is i think uh, we can say china and india these are leading countries in all over world in softwares then computer science applications then computer network and communications we can see here the publications also citations per document is quite low even the number of publications or number of documents is uh, notable in the field of computer science after that one another important field is nano biotechnology we can come with uh, nano uh, in nano biotechnology there are different disciplines from botany zoology microbiology biochemistry biotechnology nanotechnology physics chemistry all we come together and work in this field which is nano biotechnology and definitely this century will be of nano biotechnology so here lot of scope to work in this field nano biotechnology field and another important field is agriculture agriculture has also lot of scope to work uh, we have to go for organic farming that time we have to use the bio fertilizer bio pesticides and some another endemic plants from our region that we have to uh, explore for the essential oils which is present in that plant so here also lot of scope to do the work in the field of nano biotechnology and at last uh to different research areas for this century defined by international council of theoretical physics which are these 
one is computing sciences and another one is energy and sustainability because computing sciences is the systematic study of algorithm processes and the computing system is an ever growing field so it has largely or we can say uh, this is future field to work because the developing countries like india we are totally rely on the computing sciences for our export and another field is energy and sustainability this is related to our day to day life or our life because energy is a key topic uh, is a topic of key importance for the developing countries like india so uh, we have to go for different sources of energy and major majorly we have to focus on renewable energy so further research since onwards will be definitely on the competing sciences and energy and sustainability so i have told you uh, different areas of science or research in science because this is my uh, my last lecture so considering your situation i have tried to cover it quite fast and last i would like to share one important thing related to us uh, because i am working as ipc coordinator and the research by the teachers is very important for institution uh, particularly ranking like nirf personally we need to improve our api and in nec very important things is that uh, up to date nac considering number of research projects but from the january 2020 they revised the framework and changed some metrics particularly related to research and what nac wants not a single department should be dominant from institute in research either that the number of departments or maximum departments of the institution should involved in research then only you will give or you will obtain full marks related to metrics of research and uh, there are about 75 weightage for the different metrics of uh, related to our pg college or we can say ug college and here research is very important in different research areas so i request all the faculties you should engage in research because in new education policy uh, definitely within two or three years when it will be implemented research will be focused and maximum funding will be given for the research in different research areas in the sciences there are so many funding agencies are there to uh, sanction the grants for the research areas dst is there dbt is there then department of atomic energy so many funding agencies there i think uh, in your fdb also one lecture will be related to that so i will stop here and if you have any questions or doubts in your mind definitely you will have chance to ask or share your doubts here again i am very much thankful to the organizers of the sgm college convener dr ak patil sir then principal and my teacher professor rajmani sir then iqc coordinator and all the organizers again i am very much thankful for inviting me to deliver a talk in this faculty development program thank you thank you sir hello ready sir yes sir sir please go anybody okay, thank you yes if you and any can any questions please raise your hand participants if you have any questions doubt okay can i proceed sir yes, yes sir please. okay uh, today we have that uh, uh, resource person dr nilesh power sir new from new college kolapur delivered a talk on the topic research areas in science sir started with uh, his lecture with the, what is meaning of uh, science 
then uh, sir discuss about what is the research sir uh, given the idea about five key characteristics of research uh, like systematic then logical empirical uh, reductive and replicable uh, also sir given the idea about uh, research type one is the basic and another one is the applied research uh, then uh, sir discuss about the research process uh, starting uh, with the example one uh, discovery of penicillin then uh, countries which are the ranking in the research then different different branches of science including regular branches as well as new advanced branches like nano uh, biotechnology then computing science then energy and sustainability uh, such as different different branches that discuss in details then in lastly sir discuss about the significance of research why uh, the faculty member should involve in the research and uh, what is the contribution of research in nr ranking as well as api as well as in nac so with this uh, discussion sir given the nice presentation and idea so on the behalf of sjm college karad and organizing committee of this uh, fdp i would like to thank dr nilesh power sir thank you sir thank you once again thank you thank you sir thank you over to uh, borse sir